Good morning, story time friends. I'm so glad to see you all today for another time for tales. Well, have you been doing lots of reading for summer reading? Have you been counting your minutes? What is your favorite book that you have read so far? That is just wonderful. Well, why don't we start story time with a song? Imagine your story. Well, could you imagine that the cat and the rat were once best friends? You see, a long, long time ago, cat and rat were best friends, and they did everything together, and they shared everything. Cat built a cute little hut, and rat built an identical cute little hut right next to his. And cat and rat built a vegetable patch together and they would take care of it and share the gardening and they would make meals together and cat even made a little bamboo flute and whenever rat asked cat let him play with it Right before Cat was about to go to bed, one of his uncles came by and he said, Cat, I have for you the very special secret cat drum that every growing cat gets. And the cat said, Woo, how a drum, cool, mm, I like this. But his uncle said, now wait a minute, there's only, there's a special way to play the drum this special cat drum. You should never hit it. You should never tap it. You should only stroke it. And it made a lovely Oh, the cat loved to just stroke it and stroke it. And his uncle reminded him, never let anybody else play it because this is a special drum for cats only. Well, the next morning, Rat came over and said, Hey, Cat, do you have some breakfast for me? And Cat said, Well, okay, if you haven't eaten yet, I, I guess I could make you some breakfast. So Cat made him and Rat some breakfast. And as they ate, Rat looked over and saw drum. Gee, he squeaked, what's that? And Cat said, that is a cat drum. It's only for cats. It's very special. And Rat said, oh, can I play it? And the cat said, no, I just said, it's just for cats. Listen, listen. And the rat thought that was the coolest noise he had ever heard. Oh, please let me play it. Please, cat, please, cat, please, please, please. And the cat said, no. I said, no. And rat said, but you let me play your bamboo flute. And the cat said, this is different. Now, 
We have to go now if we're going to work in the vegetable patch before it gets too hot. Rat looked at that little drum and he thought about working in the vegetable patch and he wished he could play the drum and then he had an idea. Oh, my belly! He said, my belly, it hurts! Oh, my belly, I love you eating too much for breakfast! Oh, cat, can I just lay down on your little bed for a little while and then I'll come out and help you later? My belly hurts! And the cat said, Oh, fine. I'll go work in the vegetable patch by myself and you lay down and when you feel better, you come on out. And so Rat laid down in Cat's bed and he said, I'll see you later. And Cat went to work in the vegetable patch. Well, Rat really didn't feel bad at all. He looked at that drum and he said, fine. I get to play the drum. And so he got the drum and he hit it. Well, that's not the noise that the cat made. And he tapped it. That's not the noise that the cat made. Hello. Well, that's not the noise that the cat made either. How did he? He stroked it very gently. And it made that beautiful sound. Outside, the cat thought he heard his drum. That rat, he said, he's playing my drum. And so the cat bounded back to his house and inside, and there he found the rat laying in bed going, oh my belly, oh it hurts, oh. And the cat said, still feeling bad, huh? Well, rat said, yes, my belly, I'll go and join you later. And the cat said, are you sure you weren't playing my drum? Your drum, how would you against me when it's your breakfast who made me feel like this? And this is just you not being a very nice friend. Well, the cat said, fine. When you feel better, just come on out. And so he went back outside. But rat took another look at that drum and he said, I love the way this drum sounds. Look at me, look at me. And the cat heard, the cat heard the soft purr of his drum. And he bounded back to the house, hoping to catch the rat. But as soon as he got inside, the rat was back in bed going, oh, my belly, oh, my belly. Still feeling bad, huh? Said the cat. Oh, my belly really hurts, said the rat. Well, are you sure you weren't playing my drum? And the rat said, how could you say that? My tummy hurts really bad. I'm not playing any drums. And the cat said, well, I'm going to go back outside and work in our vegetable patch. And when you feel better, you come out and help me. And the rat said, I will. So the cat went back outside. But this time, he sneaked around the back of the house and he climbed in the back window and hid under the table without the rat ever seeing him. And sure enough, the rat took the drum again. And he began to sing, I tricked that silly cat, I tricked the kitty cat, I tricked the silly cat. I tricked the silly cat. Bum, bum, bum. I'm playing on his drum. Ha! said the cat. I knew it. I knew it. Get your hands off of my special cat's only drum. And the rat said, Eek! and he began to run. And the cat chased him. And he chased him around the house. And he chased him into a corner until the rat cowered in fear in the corner. And the cat said, I'm going to eat you up. And he opened his mouth. The rat couldn't think of anything else to do except throw the drum right into the cat's mouth. And, <coughs> oh, excuse, oh, oh. And as the cat realized that he had swallowed the drum instead of the rat, 
the rat ran off, never to be seen again. But if you stroke the cat very softly, you just might hear a muffled And that is why whenever the cat sees the rat, he chases him down. The end. Well, isn't that a silly story? Do you think it's a true story? Mm, do you think it could just be an imaginary story? It certainly is a fun one. Well, I hope to see you here again next week every Thursday morning in June and July for Time for Tales. And keep on reading. Thank you for coming to hear some stories.